It's time to begin the pleasure study. Pleasure. Eternal pleasures. And a point about people control. George Orwell, in his writings, famous philosophical sociological person, George Orwell made a picture of the people control by hiding the truth and inflicting pain. But Aldous Huxley made a point of people control by inflicting pleasure and drowning truth in irrelevant distractions and amusements. Not hiding truth, but actually creating so many other interesting things that truth is ignored. And that's the way of people control. All right. So, in the spiritual life, everything is upside down. But in my spiritual life, there are two obvious and clear pleasures that were not introduced to me in my youth. The pleasure of the Holy Spirit was not conversed about. The pleasure of the marriage bed was not talked about in a cheerful, positive way including the individual feel-good that happens to a person. These two pleasures were completely avoided through my youth, and I was actually conceived by two people who were outrageously promiscuous and truly enjoyed the feel-good a lot but they were hopelessly not married. One person was married, one person was not. One person was married with children. So the idea of the pleasure of the Holy Spirit and the pleasure of the marriage bed together is really pretty spectacular. It's pretty amazing. And to avoid for the spiritual, religious Christianity peoples to avoid these two pleasures is a heinous, horrible neglect. It's an abuse of a child. And I was under that abuse for pretty much 40 years. Okay, then when you start studying the early disciples, you discover that singleness like Jesus is understood as a greatest pleasure because it benefits your afterlife enormously. For example, in the early church writing of the Didache, it says, if you are able to bear all the yoke of Messiah, living like Messiah, if you are able to bear all the yoke of Messiah, you will be perfect. But if you are not able, what you are able to do, do that. So let's look at the pleasures that set up your eternal life in a marvelous way. Let's look at the things that are the life of Messiah. A single life. A traveling ministry. A person who is sharing all resources with others in the work. Jesus lived on one bank account with 12 guys. You don't just have resources to buy whatever the heck you want to buy. You have to say, hey guys, my, my boots are worn out. My sandals are worn out. My bag is messed up. Do you, and everybody says, yeah, 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 get him another bag. So, shared resources making group decisions and traveling with Holy Spirit powers, healing and discerning and driving off spirits, truth speaking about eternal things, and a great care for the suffering. 
if you are able to bear all the yoke of Messiah, you will be perfect. But if you are not able, what you are able to do, do that. So if you decide you're going to marry and not be single, that's okay. Do that. If you have a settled work, you can actually support people who are doing traveling ministry. And you can share your resources with others who are in the work in a settled situation, in a marriage. You can operate with Holy Spirit powers. You can do a lot of truth speaking. And you can care for the suffering. Okay, so, singleness like Jesus is a pleasure. This is a pleasure. The pleasures are seen in the enormous afterlife, after the problems of this life are finished. Remember, eternal pleasures and unimaginable rewards and gifts and benefits and success are coming to those who discern true spiritual principles and the valuable pleasures of these spiritual principles. All right, so there's pleasures, right? And there are foundational special pleasures, but the pleasures of this world can control people. This is talking about satanic dark side power inflicting pleasure and drowning in irrelevant things. Oh, we love Jesus, so we're going to, you know, party with our t Jesus t-shirts on. But they've forgotten care for the suffering, truth speaking, and shared resources with others in the work. Inflicting pleasure is one of the most great dangers that's going to draw you away from bearing all the yoke of Messiah and imitating Messiah. We have actually been visited by the actual God friend in human form. Why did he show up in male human form? Because the men are judged more harshly. And the men set the spirit tone for the family atmosphere. So all these things on pleasures, this is just step one. And step two has got a list of all of the various pleasures of life and how we can categorize and prioritize them. Think about pleasures. The pleasure of the Holy Spirit with the pleasure of the marriage bed. Those are things that your children should know about. That's why mommy and daddy really want to hug and kiss each other all the time. Because it's wonderful. Your soul shall not be joined with lofty ones. But with just and lowly ones shall it have its intercourse. Your soul wants to be flowing and interacting with people who are truly aware of justice and injustice and people who are lowly and humble. That's an eternal pleasure.